Marvel Studios' Black Panther Wakanda Forever is roaring onto the big screen, and I am sitting down with the cast and director Ryan Coogler to talk all about it. So let's get to it. For our cast, where do we find your characters at the beginning of the film? We find Shuri in her lab, going through some tough emotions, and we are about to explore the ways in which she has to unpack those difficult emotions. You find my character doing her job, but it's in a new time. There's a loss of a, a dear, dear leader and a dear brother to her. So she's really come to a place where she's not experiencing the world the same, but uh, she's seeking to take care of others. She has grown a lot since the last time we saw her, been through a lot. Her priorities have shifted and sharpened. We find Ramonda on the throne as queen, leader of the Wakanda nation. We find Namor kicking, kicking some asses, protecting his people. <laughs> Now, speaking of Wakanda, I know I would want to visit. Who wouldn't want to visit? But if you could go, what would you want to see first? I would want to go to Rivertown first. That's where Nakia is from. And when you see the renderings of this place, man, it's so beautiful. I would want to go to the throne room first, and then I wouldn't mind taking a side trip to Jabari Land. I personally would want to see the throne room, respectfully, of course. No loud talking. <laughs> now, there are so many great characters being introduced and fan favorites returning in this movie. What two characters from the film would you want to see team up? I would love to see General Okoye and Atuma work side to side. Like, who would be dumb enough to mess with Okoye and Atuma at the same time? I would want to see M'Baku and Namora. She's small and he's large, and they're, but they're both skilled, one on the water and one on land. So many good scenes between characters from my perspective that I enjoy directing. You know, Shuri's scenes with Namora are really cool. They're really strong. They kind of speak the same acting language. It was great to watch them, to watch them work together and, and to watch like the chemistry, like the electricity between them. Well, there are so many incredible parts of this film, but what are you all most excited for fans to see? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much action. Uh, we got underwater action, in the air action, and the languages, you know, we got French, we got Spanish, we got Mayan, and the action, did I say action? You can discover these two worlds. We're going a little bit deeper in Wakanda, and we have this new world, Talocan. I'm most excited for fans to see the, the characters that they've come to love and admire. And I'm also excited for them to see new faces pop up. I hope that the audience feels the love that we have for our friend and why we love them. And I think if we succeed in terms of that, then the themes of the film are true. The fact that somebody can be gone in the physical sense, they're not truly gone. Well, you heard it here first. You are not going to want to miss this. Everyone, go get your tickets to Marvel Studios' Black Panther Wakanda Forever, coming exclusively to theaters November 11th.